This is a kid who was not going to move below the neck. I mean, she just wasn't going to move below the neck. This is what we were told by the doctors. This child is not ever going to leave this hospital. This child is never going to breathe on her own. This child is never going to ever be able to use her, even her upper body, never mind her lower body. Michelle has been the vanguard since she was little. She's going to only live to be one. She's only going to live to be two. She's only going to be lived to be five, you know. Couldn't possibly live on her own. Every single time we come up against something, we're, we're stopped, right, Michelle? Yeah, we always hear no. First we sit down and we say we're not going away. And then we bang on the door. And then we break it And down. then we kick it in. <laughs> I think I have, I know, I have like a lower life expectancy. I am the, one of the oldest living people um, with a trach and a ventilator living on my own. My mom pushed me a lot to be independent. I'm trained to take care of myself. Independence has been uh, really important to me. I have a machine, I put a catheter down and it uh, suctions literally the mucus out of my lungs. Um, you can put it down the left lung or the right. It helps me, I guess, with my breathing. I have to change the catheters. And then I have a breathing device at night and the ventilator pumps air into my body. I forget to breathe when I'm sleeping. All right, thank you. Okay, see you. See you Bye. soon. Lights. Lights, camera up. Oh. During the day, I have to always be thinking about it and make sure that I'm regulating my own breathing, whereas it comes second nature to you. So I do go to physio. About once a month is what's covered. The left side, my body doesn't grow at or develop as much as my right side. I try to work the left side of my body to make sure that I have the muscle so it doesn't just get weaker. You weren't expecting driving with Daisy. He's been great in helping me advance and helping me whenever I need anything. Experiencing different things like the motorcycle. Parades. Gay pride. And they can get to the movies for free. You don't have to pay. <laughs> He's been yes, ready. more the comedic relief and the fun side of life. And my mom has been more the advocate and the pusher, and it's good to have that balance. She works very hard and it's costing her a lot of money for everything. She tries to be on top of everything. And like she works more hours than I do, and I work too many hours just to try to stay ahead. What are you counting? the gas receipts that I have to submit to ODSP. So they've put a lot of, it's ODSP, Ontario Disability Support Program. So they've put in a lot of barriers to, to retain employment. Like every month I have to hand in my pay stubs, like my earnings, I have to show how much I make. So I have to drive down to the ODSP office and hand it in. Bookkeeping for ODSP is like a second job. I think a lot of people with disabilities don't work because it's a lot of work to maintain your employment status. Thursday, 9.47 a.m. Hey, Michelle, it's Ryan. It was a three-pay month for June, which means an extra pay kind of higher than normal. So just giving you the heads up, looking like for this month, there may not be a payment. So there we go. I get cut off a lot, typically. It's that I made too much money or that there was three pay periods in one month or something you have to find a way to rectify it, otherwise you just don't get the ODSP money. It also affects wheelchair repairs, uh, medical supplies, things like that. The, a big concern for me was that Michelle would do things like hoard her supplies. She would stop using her gloves or she'd stop using catheters, she'd, she'd reuse and um, put herself in a position of, um, of getting infections. It's hard watching your kids struggle. We're trying now for her to take over what I've been doing for her for the, you know, for the last 30 years. 
I feel proud for her. I also feel very scared for her because I'm 62 and I won't be able to do it for her forever. Hopefully she lives longer than me, which is something we never thought would be true. Well, she's my hero. <laughs> she has a, a really keen mind. She has a really strong will. She has all the, that she needs to be able to navigate this, except for one thing, and that is the amount of time it takes. So my goals are to, I guess, keep moving up in my career, have ODSP streamlined better so that it's not as stressful. I think I'd want to get married and, yeah, and to keep progressing in life, I guess. She already called me her hero. <laughs> <laughs>